I don't really know how to start this video. I don't even know if I'm gonna edit it. I might just chop it up, edit the audio a little bit, um, maybe fix the lighting, and that's it. I don't really know how to, I don't know how to talk about this because this is something I have never experienced before. I have been a fan of a group um, that has lost a member, um, that has, a member has, you know, just moved on, um, or been told to leave, whatever. Um, but this is the first time that I have been able to see a member leaving, uh, a member departing a group coming. For those of y'all that don't know, hopefully you can tell by the title that Elkie, uh, <clears throat> don't get choked up already, Ben. Elkie has departed CLC and Cube as a whole. That contract was not renewed um, and she is done. That's it. She will be moving on to different things. Um, and we don't really know what that is yet. Knowing Elkie, of course, she's very talented, very wonderful, so she can really do whatever the hell she wants. Um, but she's moving on. And that means that one of my favorite girl groups of all time, of all time, one of the first girl groups I really fell in love with as well, um, is no longer the same group that they were when I started to stay in them in the first place. Now, CLC will always be seven to me. Um, but as of right now, the group is still operating and likely for the foreseeable future will be operating as six, unless something crazy happens over the next couple of days or months that we don't know about, right? Um, so hi, welcome back to the channel. Hopefully you are having a great day. If you're not having a great day, this video probably won't help you if you're a Cheshire, but <laughs> we're here to talk, man. I need to talk about this. This is something I want to make a video on, so we're going to. Um, this is in some ways a reaction. It's just me reacting to the news. And my overall reaction is I don't have an emotion. I'm numb. I almost wish I was sad. I wish I was angry, but I'm numb because I've been sad and I've been angry for months. <laughs> um, not even not necessarily just in regard to the situation with Elkie because that's sort of been a recent development. Although um, we have found out that that has been going on for quite a while. So now knowing that Elkie has been putting up with this for a minute, um, I've been angry about that for a bit. I'm at the point now where seeing this news is not surprising in the slightest. Um, did I wake up this morning and realize that that was gonna be one of the tweets that I scrolled by on my timeline this morning? No, I didn't realize it would be today. Um, so in that regard, that's really the only surprise about it. But everything else, uh, including Cube's little letter they attached um, to say that she's leaving, um, was so bare bones and so minimal and so not deserving of any, any praise. Look, Elkie is one of the most talented most wonderful, sweetest people in the world. I'm not talking about, oh, she's one of the sweetest idols. I think, I, I think, I truly believe Elkie is one of the sweetest souls we have in this world. And she was contractually taken advantage of. If Cube is letting her go now and has not paid out the rest of the money that they owe her, honey, But as I said, I'm just numb. I don't feel anything. I don't even know what I should want. A while ago, I was thinking when the first news came out that Elkie was likely going to end up leaving the group or there were going to be complications with the, um, even further complications with her relationship to Cube. Um, so I was sitting there thinking maybe if we're lucky, none of the girls will renew their contract and they'll be able to maybe like re-debut under a different label. Um, or a different company. And now I'm sitting here and thinking, I don't know if I want that either, because does CLC have um, the potential hype and the potential monetary value behind their name to go to a different company and say, hey, let us work for you pretty much, right? Um, I, don't, I don't know. I don't know. And as much as I can sing CLC's praises until I'm blue in the face, the rest of the world doesn't necessarily see them the way that I do. They might like CLC, but they might not like love them, love them, love them like I do. 
And that's frustrating, obviously. And this isn't, you know, I would imagine some of y'all that have clicked on the video, maybe just because you're interested in my thoughts. Maybe you don't like CLC, you know, as much as I do, but you're just here because you know that I care about the group and you wanna hear what I have to say. I would imagine plenty of y'all also have had groups um, that you really love that weren't able to just sort of do maybe necessarily what they wanted because they didn't quite have the funding that some of these massive labels are able to give some of their groups, right? Um, and this is sort of the first time that I'm really experiencing that um, to a degree as a fan. Um, and it's frustrating. So now I'm, you know, walking a mile in y'all's shoes and I, I understand, but um, I don't know what I want. What I do want is I want y'all to get in the comments and I want you to let me know what your ideal scenario is from this. Is it that the CLC girls, um, as they are now as six, continue on and do their best and continue to make music for us? Um, and somehow manage to enfold Elkie here and there just in regard to, you know, hanging out and stuff like that. Um, is that what you want? Do you want, like I was saying earlier, maybe the possibility that none of the CLC girls renew their contract and they try to re-debut a seven under somebody else? Which seems so unlikely, unlikely but I, I mean, obviously my ultimate goal would be to have all of them together in some way, shape or form. But the way that things are going, I don't think that's possible. So I just really hope that Elki um, is able to find whatever it is that she wants to do and I hope she's able to do it to the best of her ability. That's all. So whether that means having a future with CLC in the form of music or not, um, I just hope that she's happy. I hope people are paying her what she deserves to be paid I can't believe that was even a thing. Um, and I just hope that she's able to go free a little bit, you know? Because it feels like she's been shackled down for a while. And I'm hoping that she's able to sort of run free now and do what she wants. So in some ways, as much as I said I'm numb, I'm almost happy. I'm sad that one of my absolute favorite members of the group um, is sadly having to leave due to, you know, situations out of her control, pretty much. But I'm also kind of happy for her because I know that her mental state is probably gonna be a lot healthier not having to be there. Uh, and I know the, 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 the rest of the CLC girls were probably a massive support system for her and probably will continue to be. I highly doubt that any relationships are gonna be broken over this with between the girls. Um, I would imagine that, you know, from what I can tell and the content I've seen, the way that they interact, those girls are sisters for life. Um, and I hope that that continues to be a thing because that's how I'm gonna see them in my mind. I'm always gonna see them as seven. I'm always gonna see them as seven great friends that worked their asses off to make awesome music for us. And that's not gonna change just because one of them is having to leave the group, especially in regard to how she is having to leave the group. Um, that's it for me. I don't need this to be longer than it needs to be. Um, I don't know if I'll need to make cuts in this one or not, but um, like I said, y'all leave me a comment and let me know what your ideal case scenario is for right now. Obviously, um, we don't really know necessarily at the moment what Elkie wants to do, so whatever she ends up saying she wants to do is what I'm gonna support. But in the meantime, it's kind of fun to speculate. It's also fun to be hopeful sometimes because right now we need a little hope, don't we? That's it for me. Thank God for watching. Chesters, I will always be here. Always. When Elkie decides, if Elkie decides she wants to be dropping some solo stuff, I'll be reacting. Um, and when the CLC girls um, drop anything new, you best believe I'll still be reacting too. That's it for me. Thank God for watching. Please continue to support all seven. If there's any time that the girls need us, it's right now. And not just in the form of streaming the music, streaming the music video, all of those things are super important. Buying albums, all of that is very important. But kind messages on social media are free. And those are really important. So please, do your part. Anytime you see a post from one of the girls, say something nice. It could be as simple as, hey, you're doing great, you know, but say something to them. Don't let them feel like this entire situation is losing them the support 
if that makes sense. Prove that you're still there. Anyway, that's it for me. Thank you all for watching. Until next time. Love you all very much. And peace. Bye.